couple years ago I wrote this program, which is actually pretty neat. I can show it to you. It is written in C. Hey, so that video did way better than I expected it to. Um, I go on to show like a cool little visualizer program I wrote. It kind of looks like Windows Media Player from like the late 90s, early 2000s, and people really loved it. I thought that was super cool. Um, as you can see, I'm on my treadmill desk right now. I've been working for the last like over an hour now. And for the last week or so, because I got such a positive reception to that, I've been working on porting that code over to modern OpenGL calls, or basically just using SDL2 properly. Um, long story short, I ported it all over to SDL2, and then I made it work with mscripten so I could compile it to WebAssembly. That's a lot of fancy words to say there's now a website you can go to to see the visualizer. So here, I'll show you the visualizer real quick just so you guys know what I'm talking about. All right, so this is my view. You got the treadmill and then I got the uh, monitor up here. Let's go ahead and fire it in there. We'll run make run. And this is the visualizer itself. So as you can see, it prints some console output over here. The visualizer runs. M to change the color modes. R to randomize the colors. L to turn on and off the lines. F to turn on and off the fading. Um, there's a whole bunch of cool stuff you can do. And the desktop version I really like because it supports dynamic resizing. So it takes a little second, but then you, you know, it'll handle any canvas size, which is pretty cool. But I think what you every or what everyone watching will enjoy is that there is now a website, undercurrents.ysap.sh. It runs in WebAssembly, so you can just go here in your browser and everything works how you expect it to. M to change the color modes, R to randomize the colors, L to turn on and off the lines. I have a note in here. The fading mode doesn't work quite the same. That's because of a quirk. I wouldn't really call it a quirk. Uh, WebGL clears the drawing buffer in between frame calls and SDL on the desktop doesn't. That took me a long time to figure out. Uh, so this isn't a fully featured version. When you get the web version, you get like 90% of the way there. I would still recommend you check out the source code and compile it yourself. There's also a debug mode. So if you're used to mscript and you get this little console page, I left this up here. I think it's really nice. It allows you to see the console while it runs here. And you can kind of get real time. So like when I press M to change the color mode, you can see what's happening. It'll tell you when it's randomized colors, turn lines on and off. Um, so yeah, this is pretty cool. I would say go check it out if you haven't, because uh, uh, I put a lot of work into getting it to work for the web. So I'm pretty happy with it.